Sam's just in the funniest position ever. Ready? Heh. <laughs> Halloween. Oh boy. There you go. Charlotte, Charlie, maybe a male. Look at that. Whoa. <laughs> Today's video is in defense of spiders because spiders are really interesting creatures and we've had one living in our place for quite a while. Okay, this is what I'm doing today. This is what today entails, apparently. It's just funny that the first pet that we've had in this place, there's a 20 pound limit, has been an orb weaver spider that willingly moved its way into the apartment because of people that took plants that they needed to clean the deck. So we didn't even open the door for this spider to come in. That's my focus line, if I can get that. If we had never had these plants, this never would have happened. The people that cleaned the deck moved the plants in, didn't put them back, and then the spider formed a web between the two bamboo poles on the plants. And we willingly named it Charlotte because that was the first thing I think of. But maybe it's Charlie, maybe it's a male, maybe it's a female. I'm learning as I'm going here. It's been interesting to think about and witness. I don't know, does it make me seem kind of crazy letting an orb weaver spider live in the family room? And it's not bitten us, it's captured gnats and things probably, that's inevitable. We've seen little white dots on the web. We haven't specifically fed it anything. This has never happened before, and I've come to realize that spiders work tremendously hard because they probably build their web every single day. Because we come out there in the morning and there's a web. Part of me feels some sympathy or empathy. I don't think empathy is empathy possible in this situation. Probably not for spiders and the fact that people hate them because sure, they're not the greatest thing to have crawling around in your apartment. And just the fact that I can exist in a space where a spider is fine and it's not seen as something I need to crush. Sometimes it's fun to just let things happen and not always interfere, especially if it doesn't make it any worse by interfering. I mean, I could freak out and destroy the web and throw the spider outside in the cold. Yeah, I could do that, but I don't know. It was just cool to experience. It became part of the average routine, like wake up in the morning, oh, Charlotte built another home. Let's check it out. What's Charlotte up to today? What kind of web did she reinforce on, what kind of strands did she reinforce? I learned that on the ends of spider strands too, there are multiple strands that come off the end of a single strand. And I watched her like form it. They start from the outside and they work their way inward to the center of the web. And when the web gets destroyed, she bundles the web up into tiny balls of of the web and then carries that around or like eats it and then uses it later like i know this is a harmless kind of spider that probably isn't uh i don't know is it harmless is it harmful it probably has a, a not a huge poisonous bite probably the right one it's interesting to think about watching the night before christmas and cooking dinners while a spider is about 10 feet away from me on a web it built Awesome. Spider web pieces look like they're fresher. See those two right there? Those look like fresh pieces. And that looks like a fresh piece as well. So it's just strengthening it. Those look weaker on the outside. That's freaking cool. That's all. That's what I wanted to share with you for Halloween. Something that's never happened to me. Something that's fascinating. Makes for great Instagram pictures and YouTube videos for sure. But uh, this will be the year that I will never forget that we had a spider. Maybe it'll just move out one day. Maybe it won't. I don't know. We'll see. It's still here. <laughs> Is it gonna hibernate in here? I don't know. We'll find out. Well, I'll find out and let you know. Hope you had a great Halloween. Keeping you DFTPA. Pizza Miss, Project for Awesome. Lots of exciting things coming up. Uh, everybody Polka. See ya. Be nice to spiders.